Hello everyone, welcome to Zep Quiz. Today is 19th of January 2019 and in our daily English vocabulary series, we will be discussing 5 new set of words today. First word for the day is encore, encore which means punarvritti ki maang, punarvritti ki maang or plaudits or reappearance. A brief or extra performance done after the main performance is complete or some shouted at the end of a performance to get the performance performer to sing or play more. The sentences are first, after the first encore, the crowd made it obviously clear they wanted more. After the first brief performance, the crowd by shouting made it obviously clear they wanted more. Second, audience were shouting for an encore. Third, they did a few old hits as for an encore. The antonyms are to heckle, that is to interrupt in the middle, ask something or to question. Next, depravity. Charitra hinta ya durachar, degradation or contamination. Moral corruption or wickedness or the state of being morally bad or an action that is morally bad. The sentences are first. Although Linda was raised in a religious household, she now lives a life filled with depravity, that is degradation. Second, that kind of depravity will get you arrested for public indecency. Third, since you love Henry, you tend to ignore all the acts of depravity in which he engages. The antonyms are uh, to have decency or to be good. Next. Palpable, matlab pratyaksh ya mehsoos hona, something which is tangible, which means you can touch it or evident. The sentences, sorry, uh, sorry, capable of being touched, felt, and handled or perceived, or so obvious that it can easily be seen or known, or a feeling so strong that it seems as if it can be touched or physically felt. The sentences are, first, there was a palpable tension. In the air as contestants waited to see if they would move on to the next round of the contest. Second, because the bank was being robbed, the sense of fear among the patrons was palpable, was evident. Third, video technology has made it so that even people who are contingent, continent apart can seem palpable to each other, can seem evident to each other or tangible to each other. The antonyms are to be mysterious, or intangible, something which you cannot touch. Next, concord. Samanjasya ya susangiti. To have harmony or accord. A state of accord or agreement, or agreement and peace between countries and people. The sentences are, first, after days of deliberation, the jury finally reached concord, that is agreement, and was able to judge, give the judge a verdict. Second, the war will end when the two countries reach a concord on the disputed territory that aligns their border. Third, because the military is a diverse body, its personnel must work in a concord with people of all races and cultures. The antonyms are to have conflict or discord. Remember the word discord too? Last, desolatory. Matlab aniyamit ya asangat. Someone who is aimless or random, not having a plan or purpose or lacking in consistency. The sentences are, first, the students were confused by the teacher's desultory lecture, which seemed to have no real focus. That is, teacher's aimless lecture. Second, at the party, the unfriendly boy made desultory conversation, conversation with a few old other children. Third, the couple's divorce came as no surprise because everyone knew their marriage was only a desultory agreement. The antonyms are to be methodical or thoughtful. These were the five words. We will be meeting again tomorrow with a new set of words. Thank you so much.